What's up school fans and we are back at Gor Citra Arena Hari ini gue sempetin ke Bandung untuk bisa interview dengan Coach David Singleton Yuda Saputra, Brandon Friends Dan juga ngintip sedikit latihan Prawira Harum Bandung Karena minggu ini of course big game mereka akan menghadapi Satria Muda Pertamina di mana di sana ada dua mantan pemain Prawira yaitu Jershaw dan juga Abraham Damar Grahita So it will be nice untuk bisa dapat quotes dari beberapa pemainnya Prawira dan mereka energinya vibes sih sekarang udah asik banget ya so big thank you kepada coach David Singleton yang sudah memberikan gue akses hari ini dan juga kepada pemain-pemain yang sudah mau di interview hari ini I really appreciate it and guys hopefully you guys gonna enjoy this interviews dan juga konten dari Bandung once again really appreciate everybody for the support jangan lupa untuk like jangan lupa untuk komen dan sekarang gue udah harus balik lagi ke Jakarta sih actually sini gue kargo berusaha habis so guys please enjoy the content Quick one. What do you think about his dunk, man? What you mean? <laughs> man, that's the OG right here. Like, you already know I was on the bench turned up. He had my blood flowing when he did that one. <laughs> that left-handed on dunk is like, crazy, yo. Ah. <laughs> and it was on the seven-footer, too. Yeah. Stop playing with my guy. Stop playing. He <laughs> got young legs. I always got young legs, bro. But that's one thing I got is legs. <laughs> For days, man, you see these motherfuckers right here. Hey, it's crazy though that Thanasis, Thanasis re reposted you, man. No, that's the homie. That's my brother, man. We played together two years in Greece. Uh -huh. I played with Kosas in France one year. I mean, I seen Giannis grow up before he went to the NBA. Like, we, I've known him for years. That's the that's family right there. Yeah, man, that's a great dunk, though. No problem. Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> We got Mr. MVP Brandon Francis. Brandon, how's that body feeling, man, after playing back to back? Oh, man, <laughs> a little bit sore, but feeling good, man. Second practice today. Just, just happy to keep it going, you know, keep building and to get myself some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> how's the sleeping, man? Is it still? Is I still still late? still t today was my best day. Okay. I mean, last night was my best night, though. I got like six to seven hours, so I'm getting it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Are you excited though for this? coming game against Satria Muda when you're gonna play against Jared Shaw, your former teammate? Yeah, you know, every game for me is important, you know that. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter who we play on the schedule. I'm not trying to go out there and do my best, but of course, man, Jared is my boy. They have a pretty good team, you know. Um, they're a great team overall, so excited to go out there and, and play pro with a basketball and just trying to win the game. Can you talk about a little bit about your relationship that you built with Jared while you guys played together at pro with last season? Oh, that's my brother. You mm -hmm. know, uh, we needed a big last year and I knew somebody who could shoot at seven feet. So, <laughs> you know, I told coach that, you know, I think this guy could really help us. So I was already here for a month. And then, you know, I told, hey coach, I know this guy, he can really help us. The way we try to play. So, you know, we, I put in contact with Jared and you know, the rest is history, man. You know, I, I'm happy that uh, the relationship that we built, the brotherhood that we got going on, and uh, that's, that's, that's big bro for sure. And now, uh, can you talk about the relationship you're building with James Giz and Antonio Hester? James Giz an OG, man, yeah. veteran, EuroLeague legend. I mean, play with the best of the best. Um, you know, Hester is a guy who is, you know, so humble, loves to go hard, you know, he's a competitor. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy to, to be here with, with James and, and Hess. I call it my, my, my big monsters. You know, I got two bigs yeah. protecting me. I old cuss now, so um, I'm happy for them to be here. Coach told me that you've been very hard on the locals this couple of practice. What kind of message are you trying to send to the locals, man? It's, it's go time. Mm. It's championship time. It's, 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 it's time to win games. Um, we can always try to, you know, to be the best that we can. So that's what I'm here for. Uh, this shit, I'm gonna do a little bit better because I'm wiser and I know everyone's personality now. So, and you know who I am. They, they know who I am off the court. They know who I am as a teammate, as a, as a friend, uh, as a person. So, uh, we get along so well. I mean, this is my family, man. I love my teammates and uh, just the intensity is at a high another level. They came close to me and told me that, you know, they miss this type of energy and this this type of work that we, we, we got since last year. So um, it's my job to come here and compete, be the best we can. The energy is really different though. I could even feel it, man. When you came in, 
everybody just, you know, the confidence level, they just going off the roof, man. Yeah, I was talking to Yuda at lunch. Yeah. Me and Yuda ate lunch together yeah. today, and, you know, he was telling me that, you know, he feels safe when he sees, he looked to the right, and he see me in the court with him, you know, and guys like Ferdinand and Timo and guys like that, um, playing that point guard position, they, they feel pretty comfortable when I'm in the court with them, so, um, it's an honor for me, man, to, to elevate them, help my other teammates, the guards. I know they feel more safe that I'm here going to battle with them. Everybody's happy, man. Thank, Thank you so much, Brandon. Thank you, man. Thank you. See, See you, you on this, Sunday, man. See you this weekend, man. <laughs> yes, Let's put on the show, baby. Are you there? Gimana kabarnya? Baik, baik, baik. Uh, up, gimana sekarang? How's your body feeling? Setelah kita tahu kan, main katanya habis operasi mandel and then play two games back to back. Yes, sir. Uh, are you feeling better? Um, kalau body wise udah mungkin lebih baik lah daripada hmm. dua game lalu kayak sekarang udah mulai udah mulai berisi juga hmm. uh, udah ya kan rutin nimbang udah hmm. mulai naik juga terus kalau sor sor juga udah mulai hilang hmm. jadi udah mulai getting back in my shape I'm saying that's good um, banyak orang yang ngomongin kayak Yuda awal awal mungkin sedikit slow start uh, di season kalau Yuda itu lebih ke defense banyak yang adjust untuk jaga lu atau lebih ke ritme belum ketemu Um, awal season tuh maksudnya uh, first few games oh. first few games oke okay. uh, mungkin satu pertama tadi benar defense hmm. banyak yang mulai adjust kayak mulai getting side ke gua terus mulai jarang ngasih gua hmm. bola terus sama ya mungkin adaptasi juga sama peran yang sama yang import sebelumnya eh hey, berasa ya sekarang ya maksudnya kan tim-tim pasti fokusnya scouting reportnya lu semua ya <laughs> ya iya makanya apalagi uh. ya sih yang kemarin kan istilahnya kurang oh. mengancam kan hmm. ya itu makin, makin lebih banyak ke dua nah ngomongin asing karena kan nih asingnya udah tiga baru nih dengan sure. James Gis, Brandon sama Antonio vibesnya udah berasa beda gak sih di tim ini apa yang paling berasa lah sejak hadirnya tiga pemain ini yang paling berasa karena gue juga datangnya telat um, hmm. gue datangnya pas Ya si James, yeah. James Gis sama si Esther udah datang duluan Yang paling berasa mungkin energi sih Energinya di tim itu udah beda banget Energinya tuh udah totally different lah, different energi daripada yang sebelum-sebelumnya um, Itu ngerasa banget dan ya gue seneng banget lah Apalagi dengan adanya Brandon is back Everything's great right? Kok gue ngerasa kalau pemain lokal ada Brandon lebih pede naik ya itu bener gak sih? <laughs> <laughs> kalau gue pribadi jujur ya? Hmm. Karena Um, gue ngerasa lebih safe kalau ada dia kayak gue ngerasa ya bebannya ke share lah bebannya ke share ya bebannya ke share nah sekarang ini kan hari minggu obviously uh, lawan satria muda di sana ada mantan teman teammate uh, koko bram how excited are you to you know play against sm dan juga ketemu bram um, how excited ya excited banget pasti karena hmm. ya gue juga baru balik gue juga udah mulai udah nemuin touchnya Um, pasti excited banget lah, apalagi ketemu Kobram kan Kemarin di sparring ketemu sekali, cuman um, Belum resmi, ini kan resmi, resmi pertama kali ya, kan? Iya bener, yeah. kalau ini kan resmi, ditonton banyak orang Ya yeah. eh, excited banget lah, gak sabar lah Kan gue tau itu adalah salah satu inspirasi lu dan juga role model lu ya yep. Apa sih yang hal yang dulu pelajarin dari Kobram pas dia ada di Prawira? Um, gimana cara dia approach ke game sih? Gimana cara dia tetap konsisten approach ke game? Kayak um, dia nganggap semua lawan tuh mau yang hebat, mau yang jago tetap sama dia tetap konsisten main di gamenya dia itu yang paling gue belajar dari dia ntar kalau tiba-tiba dijaga sama dia gimana? that's fine, let's go <laughs> jangan terlalu <laughs> semangat ya, terlalu semangat <laughs> bahaya, ntar kalau bahaya. paling sakit bahaya iya, yeah, yeah. thank you so much, good luck ya, yes, Sunday thank, thank you sir. we are here now with Coach Davis Singlet Coach, how you doing? doing well man, doing well <laughs> coach, big game on Sunday yes on the road against Satria Muda I know this team only have been together for four days, uh -huh. probably now, right. uh, with Brandon coming in late. Yes. Um, but what are you hoping to get out of this first big test for this group? Uh, we're looking to kind of see where we're at. I think, mm. uh, you know, we haven't had a lot of time together, but mm. I think from the early stages, you can see the difference in our team. Mm -hmm. You can see the level of improvement we have mm. defensively, offensively, and just energy-wise. I think the fans, everybody can see the difference. So I think it's just going to be a test of us to be real road warriors. Uh, bring the show on the road and uh, be able to go compete against the traditionally dominant team in Indonesia, a very good basketball team, uh, and that's who we are. And we're the defending champs, so we got to go up there and act like it. And I think it's going to be a great matchup, and uh, we're excited. I know you've been watching Satria Muda games also. Yes. What stood out about the Satria Muda team this season? Uh, I think they got good uh, three imports. Mm -hmm. I think obviously we have a great you know relationship with Jared. I think you know knowing him, he's a good basketball player. 
and then Trey Davis and uh, Mike Henry are two high-level basketball players. Mm -hmm. Spent some time in the NBA, things like that. So uh, they did a really good job with their recruitment. And then obviously, as you know, SM's always got the locals. Um, you know, most of them are on the national team. Most of them have been or on the national team or been on the national team. And uh, you know, you got guys like Brom, who uh, we know and, and we love, but. Uh, they just got—they just got a lot of people. They're really a deep roster, and they're a lot of size, um, so they cause you a lot of problems there. Um, but you know, again, I think we can match up with anybody. Um, I think we got the pieces to do it, and uh, it'll be a big challenge. Talking about problems yes. and Brom. Yes. Uh, I know you are very familiar with Brom's and also uh, Jared Shaw's game. Yes. What kind of problems do they present for your team? Well, Jared can shoot at his mm -hmm. size. I mean, he's a, he's a mobile guy. He can move around with the basketball, especially on offense. Mm -hmm. He can shoot, he can fake, he can dribble, uh, he can finish around the basket. Um, so his height and his length mm -hmm. cause problems um, in that way. And then Brom obviously can score. I mean, he's just a natural born scorer. Mm -hmm. He knows how to uh, drive the ball. He knows how to shoot the mid range. He knows how to shoot the threes. Uh, so both of them are, you know, very, very good basketball players. Uh, we we know them very well, uh, you know. And Brom, uh, you know, he spent a lot of time here, built his culture, and we appreciate that. Jared obviously helped us win a championship as well, so we appreciate that. But at the end of the day, they're competitors now, and uh, we're going to we're going to win. So it's going to be a good competition, but we're looking to win. Can we expect a Yuda and Brom matchup this weekend? <laughs> uh, at some point, I'm sure. I think maybe Brom will stick him early mm -hmm. on and guard him, but. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll, we'll we'll start the game off like that. Who knows? But uh, I'm sure at some point they'll run across each other's paths, and I know both of them will be excited to play. And you guys have a one week break right now. Yes. Uh, before the SM game, mm -hmm. do you prefer to have more time to prepare since Brandon just got out here? I think it's good for us right now because everything's new. Even Hester was just only like a weekend mm -hmm. for his practicing as well. So I think the more time to build the chemistry right now is, is a good thing for us, uh, especially for Brandon and even Yuta. Yuta's been out quite a while. Um, even though he played in these last two games, he had missed basically the whole month. Uh, so we do think it's a good thing. I don't like it in general. I don't like it in general, but for right now, it's okay. Did you play Brandon too much in the first game? Did you forget about his minutes restriction? It was like 25 minutes after a 19-hour, yeah. 29 uh, hour flight. You know, you know, there's uh, there was no restriction. I mean, we, we didn't want to kill him, yeah. but at the same time, we know Brandon, so we trust him. We understand, you know, his uh, his shape that he's in. He keeps himself in great shape, and uh, we feel like uh, we played him just enough. Mm -hmm. uh, we played him just enough, and obviously, we needed him this weekend, and his contributions really helped. And James Kiss. Yes. I know you cannot stop talking about him. Yes. Just what did you see from him in the first two games, and what do you like from him? James is just like the ultimate pro. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's one of my favorite people that I've ever coached. Uh, I've only known him for about a month. Mm -hmm. uh, but to be honest, I mean, not just am I teaching things to him, he's teaching things to me. Uh, he's been a 13 year Euro League player. Mm -hmm. And with that type of experience and resume, um, you're you're bound to learn stuff from somebody like that. And so I think he's not only giving it to the players, but also to the staff as well, giving us ideas and things that we can think about. Um, but just a true, you know, basketball player. He knows everything. You tell him something once, he gets it. Defensively, offensively, he can bring something to the, both sides of the ball, and he just just brings the energy man he's a he's a guy that's flying around at 37 years old uh, you know aging like fine wine and uh, we're just so happy to have him did he get you out of your seat with that left-handed foot man I'll tell you, <laughs> you know I, I, that was one of the first times that I, in my coaching career that I jumped up like that and uh, it just came out of nowhere like I said I, I said he came from the top ropes like wrestling and uh, it just it just sparked everything from the from the fans and the team and just everybody just got behind it so I think we're gonna see a lot more of that from James mm -hmm. this season and uh, I just can't wait to see that and also Antonio Hester yes. like he made two big blocks mm -hmm. in that game against Borneo what what do you like from his defense and of course his presence on the court yeah he's just a big guy man he's a mm -hmm. big strong physical guy he's a tough guy um, Antonio brings energy to the game mm -hmm. I really think that Antonio uh, has a great uh, touch around the basket he's very good in the post back to the basket mm -hmm. facing the basket shooting the basketball I think you guys have yet to see that as well um, but defensively, he's a competitor, man. He can guard bigger players. He can rebound the basketball. And to be honest, uh, those blocks were like game changing, and especially that last one that was so big and the crowd erupted yeah. and roared. And uh, that just shows you the type of player that we wanted to bring in. And uh, so far, so good for Antonio. 
So far, so good for yeah. everybody here. Yeah, you yeah. like the energy since the, since I do, the change? I do, man. I, I can feel the difference. I, mm. Everybody can feel it. I think uh, we got a new little attitude to ourselves. I think we're also getting back to our identity, mm -hmm. who we are. We're a little tough team. Can get a little bit chippy. You don't mind the physical play and uh, playing with a lot of passion. And I think that's something that you'll always know from a team that I coach mm -hmm. or a career team that you watch. So uh, as long as we're like that all the time, I think the talent is there. I think the system is there. I think those things will take care of itself. But the identity is a big thing that's starting to build again. And what do you want to see in the first quarter against SN? <laughs> Uh, I want to see us winning 30 to nothing. No, uh, I mean, you know, I just want us to play well. I think uh, that's one thing about us is we got to start better. We got to start games better, and uh, that's something that we're looking to do uh, against SM. But we just want to see a consistent effort from this team and making sure that we're playing the right way. And can you give us an injury update on Calvin and forgot one more Sultan yeah so Sully's so, so on his last phase of recovery uh -huh. uh, he's got a couple more months to go and he's, he'll, he'll be there so he has a chance to be back during the season and um, we're hoping the best for Sully he's working so hard he's you know the best person ever um, and then Kelvin uh, he's close he's very close um, he's he's right there on the edge of coming back um, possibly not this weekend but definitely in the next phase of games Kelvin will be back and of course, a lot of people have been asking us, both of us, about the BCL, Basketball yes. Champions League. Yes. Just can you just talk about it a little bit? Will you guys use the same team, the same players? And of course, is it hard? Will be hard? It will. Will it be hard to focus on two competition at the same time? You know, um, I don't think so. I have experience with it before. Uh, you know, in, in my past, and then James Gist is a guy who's done it mm. for 13 years plus. So he's going to give us some some knowledge and some wisdom there. But the reality is this is the most tremendous opportunity for uh, Pawira and also for Indonesia uh, to represent Indonesia, to represent the city of Bandung. Uh, it's a special time for us. And you always want to take these opportunities to go out there and compete on an international level and, you know, put on for Indonesia, you know, put on for the fans, put on for the people and give these boys the opportunity to go compete. So uh, we don't care if it's three competitions, two competitions, it doesn't matter. We're going out there just like any other game in the IBL, we're going out there to win. So uh, we're excited, we can't wait. And uh, it'll be a new experience for most of us and uh, we're looking forward to it. So it'll be the same players, right? That it'll playing. be the same players, it'll be the same players. I mean, uh, we're not gonna add anybody else. Yeah. We're sticking with this team and uh, we think it's enough. Coach, thank you and yeah. good luck on Sunday. Thank you, man, looking I appreciate forward, it. Man. We can't wait, man. Thank you. <laughs>